Saturday. It is a Saturday and it's a beautiful day today. Sunny, but it's so cold. It's so cold in San Diego. It is like 40 degrees. For us, it's just freezing. So <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to New York next week. And I know that it's like 35, 30, so I'm gonna be freezing. Today I have a chatty video. I'm gonna talk about the five bags that, that I've worn the most at this 2023. I just got confirmation based on my last video that you love designer bags as well. And that's how my channel started. My first video was about reviewing the San Laurent canvas tote and that was my first day video and the idea was to review my bags and so on and I did a bunch of videos uh, related to my designer bags then I stopped I don't know why I stopped and I start doing more try on holes and start trying holes and so on there is no secret that I love the black color and surprise surprise Four out of five bags that I'm gonna show you are black color. I know, I didn't, I just want to be on the safe side and I just choose a black color. Black goes with everything. But I discovered that white also goes with everything. And I'm gonna be talking about one bag that changed my mind <laughs> regarding white bags because before I was a little bit you know scared but then this bag gave me gave me the confidence to buy more white bags i don't want to say that this is in chronological order because i think the five bags were worn at the same level of course that, that there is like a, a favorite one a couple well three <laughs> all of them are I mean my favorites that's why I know the reasons that I am showing those to you okay so the first bag that I want to show you that I worn this 2023 let me just put my tea here is by far my Hermes 35 on togo leather with palladium hardware I bought this bag and I never thought that I was going to be wearing this huge bag the way that i wore it this 2023 it was an investment i sold my chanel 19 and i sold a couple of other bags to get this bag and i got this bag with discount at the real real yes i pay well i tried my bags and then they gave me money for those and then i yeah i just paid the difference and i pay like almost nothing and since i got this bag i have been wearing this bag a lot it fits tons of stuff it fits my computer my laptop uh, is 15 inches and it fits really well it fits my books if it's uh, my leggings if i'm gonna go to the gym my sneakers it fits a lot of things guys it is a very practical bag it's expensive yeah but if you are a hermes lover i think it's worth it i think the hermes 35 is the perfect size for my lifestyle bags. i discovered that i love big bags i got the hermes bergen 25 the blue color navy color that looks like like a black I decided that i'm gonna sell it along with my other bergen the bergen 30 
I decided to sell as well. So I sent it to the Rio Rio. They're on consignment. They're gonna sell those for me. And my decision was based that I was not wearing those bags in comparison to this bag. This bag is the one and this size suits my stuff. Am I going to buy an Hermes 25 in the future? And I'm saying Hermes 25 or Hermes 30 in the future. The answer is yes, but I want a color that works with my style. I bought the Hermes 25 on the navy color thinking, okay, it, it was a great deal. That's why I bought it. And I pulled the trigger thinking that, okay, it's navy color, I can make it work. But the reality was that no, not a lot of outfits were um, matched with that bag. And that's a lot of money just to have it there. So I decided to sell it. And then my other Hermes, the Hermes 30, on this uh, battery color, I don't remember the name of the color, but on that color, uh, yes, I do uh, have a lot of clothes on that color as well, but I found myself that I was not, I feel it was not 100% content with that bag, so I decided to sell as well. I want to buy a gray one or a taupe or more like an ivory colors on those type of bags. But back to my most worn bag, definitely the Hermes Birkin 35 on the black color. This bag is just mm, so, so good. Then, because I found out that I love the size 35, big totes with the handle, thanks to my Birkin, I was at the real real, and guess what? I found a super deal, this, this was a steal. Um, and I got this bag and this bag became one of my most warm bags of 2023. This one is the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour tote and it has this cocodrile type of leather. So this one's retail for a lot of money guys. I'm just going to put it here. And I bought a pre-love of course and I only pay can you guess how much I paid for this bag? I paid $500 for this bag. It was final sale. And I can tell by the pictures that it was on excellent, like a new condition. I don't have marks here at the corners. They just look pristine. And the inside, oh my gosh, it still smells like new. So when I received this bag, because it cost me $500, I was very skeptical, but I opened the box, saw the bag, saw the condition of the bag, and I was like, oh my gosh, this one was still. So, when I don't want to wear my Hermes Birkin 25, I wear this one. Can you see that is that they are the same size? They are exactly the same size. So, when I don't want to wear my Hermes Birkin, I wear my Saint Laurent Sac Jujur. The difference between the two of them, of course, the brand, but the leather of the Hermes Birkin is toggle and is more like soft, more slouchy. I do have an organizer inside, which I believe that I have a discount as well because they're from Sir Morga. Yeah, I do have a discount code as well. I'm just gonna link it in the description box below. So that's a very slouchy and this one my Saint Laurent is very sturdy like seriously you cannot smash it it's strong <laughs> very stiff and I love that it fits my laptop my 15 inch laptop books everything I'm gonna say that it has this bag with this zipper and sorry I have stuff here it has this bag with this zipper Sometimes I feel that is on the way to fit more stuff because Birkin doesn't have anything, right? It's just like the bag and yes, it does have a, ba a zipper bag here, but it's in one side, it's not in the middle. So I can fit a bunch of things here. Well, not the case with this one. Sometimes I feel that the zipper bag is on the way. Mm. Nevertheless, 
is one of my favorite ones ever and believe it i think that these bags are very very nice i highly recommend if you're interested on a uh, sack to your bag a saint laurent bag buy a pre-love if you don't mind buying pre-love buy a pre-love pre because for sure you're gonna be saving a lot of money guys in comparison with the retail prices what new so that's my thought if you want to have the experience at the store and you want to buy new of course right it is worth it but if you want the designer and you don't want to spend all the retail price buy pre-love i do have a post in my blog theatreedition.com about bags that i've fine <laughs> that i have been finding and they are deals believe me sometimes i'm very tempted if i have all the money of the world i will buy them all <laughs> but i i, I simply it doesn't make any sense but i do want to pass the good the good deals to you so take a look on that uh, the link of the post is going to be here and in the description box below because they are well i find very good at deals and i think i'm just going to leave um i'm not leave i'm going to create um a page with deals of my findings of good deals of facts so in case you're interested today or later on you click over there right and you can find my latest findings but yes pre-love is the way to go because unfortunately saint laurent does not retain the value and yeah that's the reality it's not like a birkin right birkins go up and up and up saint laurent not the case but you can still have no you can still find a good deal on the pre-love market next okay this one is uh, yeah i don't know which one because both of them i wore them a lot but i'm going to start with the prettiest one and let's talk about my Hermes Kelly 28 on box. I got this bag in 2015. That's when I finished my master's, guys. And I paid, yes, $3,000 for this bag. And for me, it was like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of money on a bag. But I really want it. So I just splurged. <laughs> and... It was a great investment right because we know that these bags are uh to the roof right like ten fifteen thousand dollars so yeah so it was a really good deal love this bag you have seen it a lot because i uh, my instinct when i want to go to the mall or if i want to run errands i just grab this bag well this bag and another bag that i'm gonna show you later so this one is one of my most worn bags, not just 2023, all years, <laughs> all years. And I love it, love it so much. Let me tell you that the strap is not the original strap. I bought it at Amazon. And since I got this strap, I have been wearing this bag as a crossbody with the Amazon strap. I know it doesn't match. Who cares? I don't care if I don't care. That's okay, <laughs> because I was looking for uh, Hermes Kelly strap. Oh my gosh, they're so expensive, almost like the bag. No, thank you. I paid like $10 for the strap and it's doing its job. So I'm very, very happy with that. <laughs> Next, my, yeah, surprise, surprise is another black bag. And <clears throat> you have seen this bag as well as part of my blogs and let's talk about my prada monochromatic bag this bag that you can see the logo there but it's very discreet because it's the same color as the leather of the bag love this bag so much it's so sturdy i don't need to babysit this bag this bag is just very like strong and it just resists everything and for that reason i love it on top of that is black color so it goes with everything and i love that the logo doesn't have any color so it kind of camouflages uh, this uh, really well right 
it has this shoulder strap i wear it with the shoulder strap if i want to wear it like this i just leave the strap like this but it's very convenient because you can wear it like this on the shoulder or you can wear it cross body i like that it's not that long i'm five seven for your reference but i'm happy i am happy i cannot complain it has golden hardware like here and there the zipper and here the clips of the strap and it's very very roomy it has a zipper bag here and a, another bag here and that's it so this size is the perfect size to fit my my wallet my uh, it's not a wallet it's a clutch my Louboutin clutch that it has makeup essentials my phone uh, my sunglasses my essentials so it's really really nice another tip if you're interested on this particular bag again buy a pre-love i bought this bag a pre-love as well it was a steal as well that's why i pulled the trigger that's why i have it these bags retail for three thousand dollars you can find them at the pre-love market for like fifteen hundred sometimes less than that guys so unfortunately unfortunately Prada does not retain its value therefore I highly recommend that you buy pre-love if you don't mind right because there are people that they don't like to buy pre-love which I respect that everybody deserves to be happy <laughs> right but if you want a, a designer bag Prada buy pre-love guys you are going to be surprised of how much money you can save and the bags are really pristine so my preference, I always try to find the bags that I like or that are on my wish list on the pre-love market. If they're not there, I consider if I like it so, 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 so much. And if I do, I just pull the trigger and buy it new. But in this case, Prada Monochromatic, I highly recommend that you buy it on the pre-love market. Last but not least, this is not a high-end type of designer but it's a bag that thanks to to her <laughs> she showed me that white can really work with any type of outfit and i am talking about the coach tabby bag it's a middle type of designer it's no high-end designer but it's a really good brand of uh, bags very stylish very uh, sophisticated and they are affordable this coach tabby bag retails for um, i believe less than 500 dollars i'm just going to leave the price here and this particular bag is absolutely gorgeous i love that it's sturdy as well it has a pocket here at the back and the golden hardware is just everything. The C for the coach, and it has a snap as a closure, and inside it has this very soft leather. I think it's sweat. I think it's sweat, and then here you go. So a zipper here. So if it's my, if it's my wallet, sunglasses, my phone, my essentials. I think this bag is absolutely gorgeous. It comes with a shoulder strap as well uh, to wear it as a crossbody, but I wear it with this. It has the two straps. It has the top handle, so you can wear it like this. It has the shoulder strap, so you can wear a crossbody on the shoulder. And the other way that you can wear this bag is without the, a strap. So you can wear it as a cloche, which is very, very nice because sometimes you just want something very elevated, right? So it depends on your mood, the outfit, and where are you at. So I really like this way. I just wear it like this, and I'm ready to go. Absolutely, yes. And the reason that I'm telling you that this bag taught me that white bags can work with everything, and the reason is because I got this bag first, and then I got myself a Chanel flat bag on the white color. I bought a vintage that didn't make it to this video because I bought that bag on October. I have been wearing this bag, but to be honest with you, I wear this bag more than any other white color bag that I have as part of my bag collection. All right, guys, 
there you have it my five most warm bags of 2023 please let me know which bag was your most warm bag of 2023 i am very interested i really love reading your comments because i feel that we have a connection but if you want even a faster connection i highly recommend that you follow me on my instagram because you can dm me over there and i answer right away because i'm always on my instagram for some reason <laughs> I want to show you today's outfit because I feel very comfortable and I am here. <sighs> Muffin always is still in the show. What are you doing, Muffin? I just put the bags right here, but she's going to jump. She's going to jump. Yep. She loves boxes and bags. She's gonna jump. You're gonna jump? Maybe she changed her right. <laughs> I was saying that I want to show you today's outfit because I feel very comfortable and I do have this set of different colors. I have the black color, the brown color, and this white color. Let me tell you that the white color, we need to be very careful, <laughs> of course, because it's a white color and no spaghetti sauce for you when you are wearing this but you know what if you're gonna be just at home and you're not gonna be doing any um, you know cleaning and stuff like that you're just gonna be chilling uh, I think that's the perfect outfit without looking frumpy right because that's what is this about okay if you're gonna be at home at least dress up put a little bit of makeup and that's going to make you feel more pretty i don't know but if you feel pretty without doing those things go for it okay girl yeah <laughs> you do you okay so this is a neat that it has this oversized sweater with this big neckline very stretchy and <clears throat> i love this set because it has these pants the pants are high-waisted they're <clears throat> sorry they're the same neat the same fabric as the sweater of course it's a set and they are long i'm wearing my uggs these uggs that are uh, like walking on clothes absolutely and this is how it fits highly recommend this one you love it because i post a real muffin no you cannot that's not your couch she knows she knows she was just testing me i was telling you that you love these sets when i posted the reel about the three outfits this is from amazon by the way the three outfits from amazon just lingerie um to be at home and this is one of the sets i'm wearing my uggs and by the way speaking about uggs let me tell you that i found a dupe on amazon let me show you because i have them here when i saw muffin here i uh, saw this one so these ones are a great dupe of the uggs oops <laughs> i'm gonna fall down so here you go that mine are like with stains and everything but um bear with me okay <laughs> those are my socks are paga so of course and i found these ones and oh my gosh these ones are so so comfortable guys they have this sole that is like plastic so they look like slippers but don't underestimate them because they are so soft guys super super soft and then look at this they look i like of course these ones are like super expensive and super like yeah real right <laughs> these ones are not but if you're just looking for the look these ones are a mess. They are true to size. I believe these ones are size. Let me see. Don't remember. It's like seven, eight. My size is a seven and a half. So they're true to size. I don't know if they're seven, eight. Honestly, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to leave the information in the description box below because I don't remember. But they are so soft like walking in clothes 
as well. These ones are Ever Foams and they are from Amazon. And I believe that they, they have Amazon Prime. I also want to show you what I'm going to be posting at my Poshmark. Some of you know that I have a Poshmark closet. My Poshmark closet is Jocely 11. So I'm just gonna leave it here. I'm gonna try to link also my closet as part of the description box below. And these are a few items that I have here that I'm gonna be posting soon on my Poshmark. Poshmark. <laughs> so these are boots. These are new guys. Like basically I never wore them. This one's, which brand is this? Let me see, this is our Stuart Wisman. Okay, so I'm gonna be listing this for 119. Leather, never worn, I just tried them on. I believe they are true to size. And these ones are size, uh, I believe they're 38. 38 guys, okay, so here they are. Oh, you can barely see it. I can barely see it. My camera is having a hard time. So these ones are, uh, it says eight and a half. I'm just going to link it here. There you go. So those are the first boots. These ones are from Zara. I'm going to be posting them. These are a sue or I don't think that they're real sue. They're just fabric. And these ones are size... Oh boy, I don't know. <laughs> but if these ones are size 38 as well. Let me check. Um, no, I don't know. So most likely are size 38, guys, because I have been wearing this. And they fit my feet. that are a size 7.5 US. I'm going to be posting these ones. These ones are Adidas. These ones are really expensive <laughs> um, sneakers, but I don't wear them. So it's time to let them go. Yeah, these ones are Adidas. And then I have another pair of Adidas. These ones I wore probably five times. Mm -hmm, this, so yeah, I need to clean them. <laughs> the soles are a little bit dirty. So I'm going to be posting these ones as well. Um, super cheap as well. I think these ones I'm going to post it for... $20 or $19 and these ones these ones I'm gonna post them for $59 Sarah boots $19 I do have more clothes here I have these uh, Sarah pants that I love but uh, you know what I'm not gonna be wearing this anymore so it's time to let them go these ones are trousers with this belt and then there are size extra small. You always have my body dimensions as part of the description box below. So, so nice. And then, I'm just going to put them here. I need to post them on my Poshmark. And then I have this that I need to, I need to pass the roll because you know muffin. Yes, I do have a cat, remember? Cat. <laughs> this one is a bandeau um, by Express. It's a neat, so, so cute. I don't know where it's so it's time to let it go it's almost new and then I have Everlane trousers that these ones fit me a little bit big on me these ones are size too regular which means that the length is 30 inches a regular okay and they're size 2 I'm going to include the dimensions of the waist the hips the rise and the length as part of the Poshmark description so you have an idea. This one's all the clothing I'm posting it at just $19 and you can uh, submit an offer if you want. This is another set of trousers from Sarah. These ones are the gray color. They have pleats, pockets. These ones are size small. So, so cute, but I don't wear them so here you go. These ones are, what are these? Sarah trousers as well. Oh, I wore this. <laughs> yeah, a lot. But it's time to let them go. These ones are size extra small. And this is part of my, my carpet that is made of wool. And it's just lint everywhere. But I'm going to send them to you 
uh, clean, okay? I'm, I need to pass the roller, so they look pristine. And then this one, what is this? Oh, these ones are shorts uh, from Sarah as well. Yeah, Sarah's size is small. These ones are cute. And they have the loops, they have pockets, and so on. So if you're interested, I'm going to leave my Poshmark closet as part of the description box below. Stop by because I have a schedule. I schedule all the postings to go live at once. Um, so take a look because next week I'm gonna go to New York so I'm not gonna be able to chip anything so I need to schedule a day so all the listings go live so you can buy freely. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. And if you have more time and if you want to continue watching more of my videos, you can click it here or here. And guess what? I'll see you there. And Muffin says bye. She's taking us some buttons.